Today in this tutorial, we are going to create a viral UI style animation which has been blowing up all over the social media these days. From this tutorial, you will learn many things such as shape morphing, bouncy motion and many more things. So yeah, let's dive in. Let's begin by adding a rounded rectangle shape and adjust its size just like so. And you can choose its color. Add a keyframe on size and radius properties on the very first frame. And then come few frames forward and increase the X coordinate value like so. And with the help of move tool position property, position it above like so. And then add keyframes on move tool and come few frames forward and move it slightly to the left side. Here we go, this is what we have got. Now let's add the shape, add some gradient colors to it. Scale it down. Let's create a scale up animation. Add an easy ease curve for a smooth animation. Place the shape layer below the rectangle layer and offset the rectangle layer few frames forward, just like so. Let's scale down the shape size, it's too large. This much looks fine. After one or two frames, after the scale up animation, split the shape layer. Now let's draw a path line with the help of vector drawing tool. Add the first border right in the center of the logo and let's draw a path line just like so. With the help of the side panel, navigate to the second pointer and click on this icon to turn those sharp edges into the smooth ones and change the fill color to none. Now click on border and shadow and let's add a stroke to it. Place the shape layer above the path line layer and with the shape layer selected, add the move along path effect on it. First of all, disable rotate automatically. Add a keyframe of progress property with 0% at the beginning and then come few frames forward and increase the value to 100%. Let's add the rotation animation as well. Let's give it a one-cycle rotation. Add an easy curve for a smooth animation. And finally, let's add the scale down animation as well. Now extend these layers till the end. You can hide the path line layer now. I think we need to minimize the rotation a bit. Let's give it only a 180 degrees rotation. I would like to change the rectangle color. Now let's add some text. Position it on the rectangle layer just like so and add the text spacing effect on it. Add two keyframes on letter spacing property and then come to the very first keyframe and increase the value just like so. Take some time and match the timing perfectly. I forgot to add the stroke to the rectangle layer. Now let's add some icons. To change its color, apply the solid color effect and you can choose your desired color from here and position it on the right edge of the rectangle layer. Now let's create a slide to right animation for this icon with the help of move tool. Position it above the rectangle layer. And create a clipping mask effect. So we will get this. Offset these keyframes a bit further on the timeline. You can adjust its timing according to your needs. And let's extend these layers till the end. Come nearly to the 2 second frame. Let's remove this path line layer. Select these layers and split them. From this shape layer, remove the move along path effect on it. I place this logo on its original position. Extend these layers few frames forward. Now select the rectangle layer and let's rename it to original rectangle just for the clarity. Now pair in these three layers to the OG rectangle layer. Now let's add a slide up animation with the help of move tool. And let's give it a rotation animation as well. On the second keyframe, change the rotation value to 2. Let's space out these keyframes like so. I think we need to have both position and rotation starting and end keyframes on the same frame. Now it looks absolutely fine. 
Now let's duplicate this OG rectangle layer and position the duplicated one below and rename it to background rectangle. Increase the X coordinate of size property and the Y coordinate as well as shown here. On the second keyframe on move tool, move it slightly down just like so. Decrease the radius value as well. Here we go, this is what we have got as of now. Now let's add a new rounded rectangle shape and adjust its shape like so. Choose its color and position it on the background rectangle as shown here. Make three more copies of it and position them side by side as shown here. Now we need to add some logos on these rectangle shapes. Now place the logos on their respective rectangle layers. Now select the logo and rectangle layer and group them. Do the same for the rest of the layers as well. Now let's add in an object. Pair in these group layers to the null layer. At this frame where the background rectangle layer expands, add the keyframe or move tool and then come to the beginning frame of the null layer and then slide it down to have a slide up animation. Here we go, this is what we have got. You can adjust the keyframe position to get the timing perfectly. Now let's add an overshoot bounce curve. By adjusting these two handles and second keyframe position on the timeline, you can get that sweet spot. It should look like the icon layers are pushing the rectangle layer in upward direction. With the help of these two properties, you can achieve that. Yeah, this is perfect. And then come few frames forward and let's add a big mark on this frame. Now select the OG rectangle layer and make a copy of it. Now delete all the keyframes that were on this layer. Now remove this extra area and position it above. Now let's add a circle layer. And let's give it a scalar pan motion like so. Now group and mask these two layers. So we will get something like this. Now make a copy of this group layer and offset it just like so. Here we go. This is what we have got. Let's get rid of these shapes with the help of fade out effect by animating the opacity. Select both the layers and remove them. Place them above the OG rectangle layer. Let's add the hand icon PNG and then draw a path with the help of vector drawing tool. Turn those hard edges into the smooth ones. Now set the fill to none and enable the stroke. Place the PNG layer above the path line layer and apply the move along path effect on this PNG layer. Add the progress animation just like we have done before. Disable rotate automatically. You can adjust the path line anytime. Now hide the path line. Let's create the clicking effect with the help of scale property. Decrease the scale value slightly. I think it's too fast. Let's spread out these keyframes evenly like so. Now it's much better. Let's create the fade out effect on this layer as well. Select the background rectangle layer and add a keyframe on size and radius properties and on the move tool property as well. And then come few frames forward and increase the y coordinate value and a bit of x coordinate value as well as shown here. On the move tool, slide it down just like so. I think it's too fast. Let's move this keyframe a bit further on the timeline. Now 
now you can extend all these layers select the OG rectangle layer and add slide down animation we need to have the OG rectangle layer above these icons and the same goes for the star and the text layer as well let's position these two circle layers above as well I think we need to delay the slide down animation a bit it should slide down like so now it's looking damn perfect now at this frame where the rectangle layer covers these icons we need to trim out those group layers like so now it looks good but to make it more interesting and to bring the viral UI animation feel let's create a bouncing effect while it slides down add an overshoot bounce curve and try to get the sweet spot by adjusting the second keyframe position on the timeline and with the help of bouncy curve handles there aren't any set rules for this you just need to experiment until you find what works for you it's all about the trial and error yeah this looks fine i'm pretty happy with this extend the necessary layers till the end now let's add some text and add a gradient color for the text add some glow effect on the text now finally I would like to add some glow line on this OG rectangle layer draw a path line with the help of vector drawing tool enable the stroke and increase the stroke width to about this much now we need to add the Gaussian blur effect on it increase the value about 360 and also add the drawing progress effect and animate the end property like so and place this layer above the rounded rectangle layer and offset the keyframes a bit further on the timeline you can also adjust the opacity if needed yeah we are done so yeah this is the final preview i hope you found this tutorial helpful and thank you so much for watching